to everyone here today. I'm Phil Cranny. I work out of the Orange Office of the Local Land Services. Uh, this particular program is sponsored by the National Land Care Program, which was farmers adapting to risks and markets. And as part of that, some of the events that we supported was the confined feeding side of things. So both Graham Ross and Michael Payton, who's going to be talking here soon, were um, successful in their bids to uh, get on board the ground cover project. I'm, I'm being in the camp that you don't never go below 100% ground cover on your place. So, um, so we, we've, we've always been in the camp that we sell stock early. Um, we've been breeding merinos and, and getting better genetics. So we decided we, we can't sell as quickly as we used to. So we, we wanted a, the feed lots or the drought lots to, um, to, to give us more scope to keep more stock. We built one at the uh, start of 2020 just to figure out broke, a bit like Graham. Uh, we got $5,000 funding, but probably cost us about four times that. Um, it's a, yeah, a fairly major piece of infrastructure. It's 500 metre long trough. Uh, we got four pens, uh, only 50 metres wide because everything needs simultaneous access. So we've got about 250 mil access per sheep, about 500 per pen. So we can hold about 2,000. And the idea is we, um, we fill that feeder from the outside without having to go in. Um, and I think, you know, from, from a practical standpoint, it's, it's a no-brainer. You know, from a production point of view, by locking them up, you're automatically gaining, depending on the scenario, five to 12%, you know, just by locking them up. The non-negotiables is water. Good, clean, quality water is, is one of these ones. Um, and particularly with sheep, the importance of that water and cleaning it regularly, but also sheep getting access in and being able to get into that water when they need it. If um, a farmer goes to a farm and, and sees and hears something, they, they may more than likely go home and, and change, adapt a, a, a small practice on a farm. In some cases, they might change a big practice on a farm. If, if it looks profitable and it looks like it's doing well for that, that um, that uh, producer. Whereas if someone comes in from 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 that's uh, a rep or something, they they might just dismiss it as as um, pie in the sky stuff.